Hi, Jeff Simon here for Social Flight. It's time for us to work on a part of the T51 Mustang known as the canopy skirt. That's the part that goes just below that plexiglass canopy that goes back and it has this contour which goes up and wraps to the top of the turtle deck in the back. So kind of some complex curves that are going to go on here. So a lot of different pieces come together right along this rounded bar. This is all the structure that's made out of steel and then all of the sheets that we put on here and all of the rest of the hardware are going to be aluminum. We need to start by actually cutting out the raw shapes of metal that are going to go on to here from a flat sheet of aluminum. So let's get started. All right, so with the inner skins that we fitted previously here and the outer skins that were cut to shape and made to fit, it's now time to get the outer skins finally fitted into place so we can see how the entire canopy skirt works. And one of the things we're gonna do is if you can see way back there in the corner, uh, we have to actually go and fit where the fuel tank, uh, 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 fuel filler neck is gonna be. So this area right here is the filler neck for our turtle deck center fuel tank. So this is an extra fuel tank that we have. We need to actually cut a corresponding hole in the skirt. And so that's actually going to be what we do uh, when we put on that left canopy skirt skin. The way we're gonna do this, we're gonna actually go and pre-drill our holes in our steel and then put the aluminum on afterwards. The reason that we do that is because it's a lot harder to drill into steel and also we are going into a round bar stock and so it's really important that we are perfectly perpendicular to that and that we actually get that hole into place and then it's very easy to match drill the aluminum it just kind of punches through into the steel hole but if you drill into aluminum first and you have something harder behind it you can find that the drill will wander and really chew up the aluminum uh, make a bigger hole in the aluminum as it works its way through the steel we found the same process when we were doing the skin on the belly where it was very thin fiberglass and aluminum behind it we pre-drilled the aluminum and then can just punch through the fiberglass this is a center punch this is a very small one and allows us to put a small dimple in the metal so that when we use the drill, it uh, doesn't wander off the spot. And especially since we're going right up on the edge of a round tube, it's very important.
Now on this side, this is where we have the tank fill for that 13 gallon fuselage tank that goes in the turtle deck here that's enclosed. And we need to get this positioned and marked. So I, I already preliminarily did that. This is the uh, piece, this is the skin that goes over there. And you can see I marked a, uh, a red circle on that where I think that it's good. Now it's really critical because we need to be able to, to have the canopy slide back and not block this uh, or actually hit it as it's going. Um, and so you want it in one hand, you want to get it high enough. On the other hand, you want it so that when it's closed, you have access to fuel. So uh, I'm going to remove these Clecos. I'm going to put this in place and just verify again where that is before uh, cutting the hole uh, in the uh, side uh, canopy skirt. And then once I'm sure of that, we've got the hole cut, we know what we're doing in that, then it's going to be okay to actually put this and glue it into place. But I want to make sure this fits. And then we're also going to have to tackle the issue of the uh, filler uh, gas cap and that mounting flange because it's going on a curved surface and it's actually meant for a flat one. So I got to see if I can make some type of a shim or adapter for that. So let's get to work. So one of the things I'm going over since they don't give us a specific measurement um, is I actually looked at this picture. Um, and so this picture is on the wall all the time. And if I zoom in to the fuel cap on this, you can actually see a surprising amount of detail here. And so here I can look at this and say, okay, to get to like the center of the cap area, well, where are they relatively going center of the cap? Well, one thing that I can use um, is how many, uh, how many like rivets are we going up from here? Because they're all spaced the same. And so if we stay here, the first you know rivet that you actually see on that above this is roughly right here. That's one, two, three, four. So babes, basically four from the first rivet area. So let's go back over on the regular fuselage and see what we can do. So I'm over here now, and if I discount this other one, we've got one, two, three, four. So this mark right here, four, four and a half, this is pretty much where the center line should be. All right, so I've got to take this gas cap, which is, has a flat surface, and we've got to find a way to mount it on a curved surface of the uh, top of that turtle deck. And so what I've got here is I traced onto this. Let's move this up. So I traced onto this kind of a little donut. This is where the gas cap area is, and this is the outside area of it. And this is eighth inch aluminum. And I'm just kind of find a way. I'm going to try just experimenting with like cutting, uh, cut, seeing if I can cut out this uh, circle, if that's possible. And then um, working from that point forward to, uh, to try to bevel what I'm left with, kind of a ring, and see if I can make a spacer that's kind of curved on one side and flat on the other and, and serves to be able to make this work or if it doesn't actually work out for me. So I'll take a look. We'll see what happens. Let's get to work. All right, next I'm gonna, I've always wanted to use this tool from Aircraft Tool Supply. It's like a mini circular saw, air saw. Um, it's meant for a little bit heavier stuff like this, so I'm gonna try that now. All right, so I am uh, done creating the uh, shim now. So it's got a nice bevel to this using this uh, aluminum that's uh, been kind of milled down by hand uh, to be this nice shim. Now it can go against that curved inner skin that's in the canopy skirt on the Mustang. And then the next step is going to be cutting a uh, kind of like a ring. That'll be the outside trim ring. That way we're not just taking that super thin skin and putting uh, screws in through it uh, against that from the outside. And so I'm gonna experiment using this a hole saw 
and uh, see if I can do that on uh, slightly, not really heavy, but just a little bit heavy aluminum. To do that, I'm going to clamp it down to wood, against wood, use it on a little mini uh, uh, tabletop drill press, and see if I can first use the pilot hole to cut the outside hole, and then use the inside hole to punch out the size that I need for the actual gas cap. So let's give that a shot. So my, uh, my tabletop uh, drill press is fried. <laughs> it's going to visit the, uh, the junkyard and uh, we'll get a good one. And so now I am just going to take what it could do and uh, cut a nice circle out of there and just clean it up with uh, file and uh, sander. Close start. All right, so I cleaned it up and I've now got this nice little round disc for the trim ring for the uh, fuel filler cap area. Uh, but now it's just got this starter hole in the center. And so the next up is I'm gonna enlarge the hole so I can put this big bolt in that is part of this punch. And so it's got uh, some teeth at one end goes in here, you tighten it all down, punches the hole. So I need to use a step drill to increase the size of this hole in here so that I can accept that. And then we're gonna see if we can punch it through without deforming it too much, which is really gonna be the challenge. Um, and even if it deforms a little bit, if we can flatten it enough that it looks good, I think we'll be fine. But um, worst case scenario, it's uh, time to make another disc. So uh, let's give that a shot. And so that worked out really well. Got this perfect disc that uh, now I can clean up a little bit and then uh, this can become the trim ring for the fuel, uh, uh, for the fuel, fuel uh, fill for the uh, fuselage tank and the Mustang. Uh, I love these punches from um, Aircraft Tool Supply. Uh, they're so easy to use and they just punch right through. Uh, so it worked out great. And uh, now we can continue with getting this side of this skin uh, ready to fit and glue into place on our Mustang. Now that I have the mark made for where the gas cap opening is going to be on the canopy side skirt, it's time to drill a pilot hole and use a punch to punch that out. Now, in addition, um, we're going to go and mount the cap itself. Uh, as you saw before, I radius this, I created a piece that kind of goes in there and allows this to fit on a curve. The other consideration, however, is the orientation of the cap itself. Now, looking at this, you, if you look up close, you can see it actually, the label says gas on it and has this tab that folds out for screwing and unscrewing the cap. Now, what's important to understand about this is you have to be thinking ahead about airflow. You don't want the airflow to be going by and causing this tab to want to be open. Instead, you want the airflow, let's assume the air is going this way, you want the airflow to want to push this down so that you don't have that hanging out in the breeze all the time. Well, in this particular case, on the left side of the aircraft, that means this is actually going to be upside down where it's reading gas upside down. But I think what I'll probably do is um, uh, be creative here, maybe make some type of a, of a cap cover that goes on this and has its own labeling that looks pretty cool. Uh, but allows me to have this oriented so that the airflow will push this back in as it moves along uh, through the air. Now, uh, that's important to consider as I'm mounting this on because I'm gonna go and take all these mounting holes and transfer that to where it actually goes on the canopy side skirt. So let's get this uh, drilled and uh, mounted uh, in a way that looks good. And 
so there we go. We're mounted. The panel wants to be curved, which is the way it's going to actually be. And so let's go put it onto the airplane. The last step in getting the gas cap mounted for a fuselage center tank is uh, to be able to actually mount the uh, screws that are actually going to hold it. Now in order to do that we take the cap assembly that we've got here and we have to put these nut plates on. These uh, nut plates uh, just have little wings on them that uh, get uh, rivets that just hold the nut plate in place. That's going to get put on the back of this nylon and riveted through um, using soft aluminum rivets. And then um, I made this trim ring and the trim ring here, you can see that, has all the holes, um, gives a little more support to the outside, but it also allows me to use uh, countersunk screws that will be flush. And in order to do that, I'm going to dimple this, um, which is a process where you press in those holes to, to use the skin to come in a little bit, get a little more support. But in order to get these uh, holes uh, to actually uh, be, allow the screw to be flush enough, I'm going to dimple it, but I'm also going to use the countersink just a little bit on that just to, to make sure that it's not rounded as it comes in completely. That'll give just a little bit more um, uh, flush fit for those screws. And they're just little number six screws, and this isn't a part that's under any strain or anything like that. So it's really more about uh, looks as long as it's still secure. So now I'm going to get to work on that part. All right, that's it. So now all of the nut plates are in place. And now the last step in the process is just going to be getting this trim ring and the underlying skin dimpled and all set so that these number six screws can uh, go in there. All right, that's it. The canopy skirt is done. And uh, it's looking more and more like the picture of the Mustang back there every day, which is really cool. I love having the aluminum finally go on, the skin finally go on for the final time. And um, uh, that gives us an opportunity to just start to see this uh, cockpit really take shape. And after this, we're just going to keep working our way forward. But before, we've already fitted the, the windshield, the uh, glare shield, the top skin, all that. Now it's time to start putting it all together.
which is so, so cool to see happen. Until next time, be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free Social Flight mobile apps for Apple and Android devices. There are tens of thousands of aviation events, destinations, and also online events like our Tuesday night program, Social Flight Live. It's every Tuesday. Just look up socialflightlive.com and you can see uh, what great personalities from general aviation we have uh, on the show. So very, very cool. And also, of course, tons of prizes in Social Flight. You just have to check that out. Until next time again, I'm Jeff Simon, Blue Skies.